Stop. Well, it's done shit tacky. Duck, duck, goose, I'm better up. I can't sleep. The fly brother must produce the power. And I'm like a 45. Sweat shirt, tin the shoes. And my pants says a sack beat. Drop it so much spam. I have to slam it down my mouth. Slug, I'm in a slushy. Put me in a rushy with the dip that was down with me from the whole front down. Front me, devil, too cool. How? I gotta get the bread. I gotta get the butter. Cook it up, eat it down, throw it in the gutter. Green dip, summer. Green dip, got it. Skinny dip into a rasp as if it was a pool of water. Not a water, it's getting hotter. So I'm gonna do it. Maybe your love ballad is a song. I sing. I gotta kiss the rasp my tongue. I hope before I curse. If you really want it, be the itch. Take me for better. Oh, it goes. here on the streets of Los Angeles with Fat Lip right here what? from the far side what? formerly are you still with right yeah you know you know far side once far side you know you know always far side you know what I'm saying but we're trying to figure out we're trying to come back and get the whole thing together we'll see. You know what I'm saying? You never yeah. know. You never know. But tonight, I was here, me and my man Imani from the far side. We hosted the Ron Fest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Brother Ali, Black She, Vel the Wonder, Supernatural. It was it was crazy. It was a bunch of other people, man. It was, it was crazy, man. It was a good time for hip hop, for rhymes, and all of that, man. So we had we we had fun, bro. For a minute, we didn't know what was going on with COVID, right? We didn't know if we were going to have a show again or... Yeah, that's another year. You're right about that. It was good to see people out who... I don't know who got vaxxed or who didn't, but people was out. Nobody was tripping. We wasn't even worried about it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that's good, too, because I remember when, when things first started opening up, it you know, people was out, and then but you was kind of, like, worried about, you know what I mean? But, but yeah, we... It feels good. We finally trying to move past that, you know what I mean, and, and get back to some type of normalcy. We'll see. Yeah. You, know uh, I mean? you have anything further to say about that, or you want to leave that alone? Oh, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, it's it's like you know, it's like a it's like a dream. Like you were like, yo, yo, I had this dream that. Uh, there was this fucking virus, and then th the government made us wear masks, but they paid us a thousand dollars a month, like once or twice, and we all had to stay in the house. Everybody, had, it sounded like a, some dream that shit happened, right. but um, a movie. Yeah, it sounded like a, some some crazy movie, but uh, no, nah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I got some people that got vax. I'm not saying that I will never ever get vax, but I, I. I don't see it happening, but I, you know what I mean. But but but. Uh, but we should have a choice, though. We should definitely have a choice in that. You know what I mean? And Not mandatory. No, nah, no. Nah. All the all the people that I love, you know, like they they got it. I mean, my girlfriend got it. You know what I mean? And, and I'm. She says she's happy. She got it, and and we coexist like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't say nothing negative about her. She don't say nothing negative about me. You know what I mean? You think you ever make a record about that? Uh, <laughs> some bars, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slide some COVID bars in there. I, I, I can get some COVID bars. You know what I mean? Um, no, I was just gonna say, yeah, it was, it was a crazy thing that happened. So you know, we, we, we got to talk about it. We love you, Fat Lip. So are you in the studio, man, or are you just hanging out on Sunset Boulevard? No, no, I'm in the studio. We, we, you know, I'm, 
never really left the studio, never really left the stage. You know, up until COVID, we was touring, you know, even, you know, a couple of members of the Far Side, including Jay. I don't know if you, did you meet Jay Swift? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, he was at the station KPFK with me. But not at the same time, but like with the other, you know, with because the, the first Far Side tours we did, Jay wasn't really around. The Bizarre oh, Ride uh, tour, that one that. Uh, yeah, that's when he came around. That's what made it dope because he hadn't, this, and then that, that started, we started that in 2012. So this man who produced the entire album didn't ever tour with the Far Side until then. But it was dope. That's what made it fun. Um, and that's. Yeah, I got footage of that on YouTube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was lit. It was lit. Yeah, yeah. you guys was, uh, I forget what theater or where you was at in L.A., but no, that was a dope show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we getting back to it, man, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we trying to get everybody on the same page, but, but and so far, we, you know, it, it's getting close, you know what I mean? So, so. look well, out. You might, see, see, you might see a real far side reunion one day, or you might not. You might just see three of the guys and maybe one... Doing his own thing. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. But you know, I was surprised. I was surprised to see you with Imani yeah. today because uh, you know the the group was kind of separated. Right. You was with um, me and Trey. Were well, you and Trey? Yeah, me and Trey was doing stuff. And but then in the last, I'll say like two years, you know, me and Imani started to kind of like reconcile and try to make the effort to reconnect. And but then then but then realizing like, yo, man, this brother right here, man, we. We we made history together, so it's like you don't you don't forget that, you know what I'm saying? And then eventually, all the other stuff is becomes you know petty compared to, you know what we what we really accomplished as brothers, you know what I mean? So that's that's how we, that's what it is. That's the basis of our our relationship now, you know what I mean? Like we friends, we reconnected, we got the mutual respect and all of that. So that's. Well, when you talk about hip hop history, and now. Uh, Nah, nah, nah. Oh, come on. Far side right there. Passing me by. That shit is so hard. That's a classic. That's a classic. He might even do a verse from that. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. So so you had a cat up here for 20 minutes telling, telling you how much you mean to him. You get that all the time. You see that. Uh, how does that make you feel, man? No, nah, it makes me feel great, man. It's 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 good to, uh, because I know how much of a fan I, I, I you know I was that 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 um, that that inspired me to even get into start rapping. You know, I was a fan of Big Daddy Kane. I was a fan of Karis One, and they you know they were my heroes. So for someone to say that to me, man, it, it's it, it means a lot, bro. It, you know, I don't you know it means a lot. And it's important that people go see their hip hop artists, man, because like we lost Biz Marquis, we lost General Jeff. Um, General Jeff was a, a friend of yours, right? Um, and a friend of mine. I had him at the station. Uh, we're running his interview again just to pay tribute to him. He was a big part of Black Lives Matter. He's uh, uh, right there in the front lines of uh, Skid Row. Uh, what could you say about uh, General Jeff? Man, I, I would be lying if I said I knew a lot about the brother. I would be lying. I wasn't so familiar. You know what I mean? I would literally be fronting. But but I heard all of the, his contributions that he did, you know, and it was, it was just, you know, it was, it's always, you know, uh, sad when we, you know, we lose somebody that was helping out, in, you know, in the community in the way that he was, you know what I'm saying? So we got, we got a, uh, we got a, uh, we got a, uh, you know, we time, time. That's that, that's the only guarantee. Uh, let me say this uh, too, man. I, I know it's a guarantee, right? Um, me and my man go back 30 years. Uh, if you go to Gary Baca TV, which you're on right now, um, we got this interview that they did in San Francisco. You guys were together only three months. Uh, only had one video out. Your mama, and uh, you guys were just youngsters, man, and and. Me and you have been off and on, you know, seeing each other here and there. I invited you one time to the W. You showed up. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a certain little things, man, here and there, man. We've been bumping into each other. We're here at Rhyme Fest. And, uh, man, you know, it, it's so good to see you, man. Yeah, and, good and to see you, bro. Yeah, it's been a long time. You was there from the beginning. Right, from the very beginning. That was 1992. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny. That was a funny interview, man. Like, we didn't know how to do interviews. We, You know what I'm saying? That We was just learning and shit. And we it, took live calls. 
That live cost was funny as hell, bro. The live cost was funny, though. No, now let's do this. Let, let, no, let's do the interview. Yeah. Yeah. I want the autographs too. I got you. I got you. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, that shit was funny, though. That shit was funny, bro. Yeah, it hey. was uh, comparing you to that. What's that one group? Um, and uh, Monty started crying. He said, "We ain't like that. We could flow." He started uh, crying, crying, or you? He, yeah, he started playing, crying. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? One group that Karras went with up on stage and beat him up. Oh, uh, oh fucking! Uh, he com compared it to PM Dunn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of the interviews, some of the people calling up was, was they was fucking with us, and some wasn't. But that shit and was then funny. that same guy called back and said, "No, nah, man, I like you guys." I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That girls was calling. Yeah, there was a few girls. I think, yeah, there was one was checking for Trey. He said, I want the one with the hat or some shit like that. The link is below, so check out that interview. No, don't check it out. <laughs> don't check it out. I don't need it. No, he was like what, nineteen? No, I was, I was twenty-one. Yeah, but but still, you know what I mean. We we was we was just hopping off the porch. You know what I mean? Like like. Yeah. Well, man, I feel like I'm in the video right now, for better, for worse. Or what's that one where you out in the street in the phone booth? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, hey, man, you think you could give us a, a rhyme, man, right here on the streets of Los Angeles? We right here on Melrose and Hellathorpe Drive, rhyme, rhyme fest. You think you get a little a rhyme? You want a verse? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need. Uh, you need a right. beat? You need a beat? No, no, I don't need a beat. We're gonna do it acapella. What I say, I said, I'm in the mix like an elixir, the shape shifter, body transform like a weightlifter, got the gift to gab when I'm in the lab, not the money grab, half ass never last when it sound like trash, mister, go get a flow spitter, make a hater so bitter, yeah, so lit, it gets no litter, did a thing that many consider to be the epitome of creativity, that was 93, but it continues on till infinity, feel the energy. Not new to the industry, not an NFT. That's virtual imagery. I'm an entity. When the shit's for real, it hit differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, give it up one time for Fat Lip right here nah, with G-Spot, Gary Baca. What I say, not new to the industry, not an NFT. Uh, where you at? All right. Man, give it up. Hey, hey thank you, man. You, Great to see you. Yeah. And uh, you got anything to say to the people out there, man? Just what you man, got to say? I, I like to say, yo, thank you for all the people for the support and all the love and all of that. And you know what I'm saying? And please continue to support not only just Far Side, but hip hop in general. Is it? You got to know that we really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's no lie. So, one love to everybody. One love to my man Gary. Yeah. You know who you are. Peace. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what's going on?